there was none of the presidency's muscular, national security-driven approach on display, as First Lady Jill Biden smiled and hugged her way through Namibia and Kenya. Biden used hopeful words to touch on tough issues. We face many of the same challenges, from climate change to economic inequality to strengthening democracy. African voices, African leadership, and African innovation are all critical to addressing the most pressing global challenges and realizing the vision we all share. A world that is free. She also flexed her motherly muscles by bringing along one of her seven grandchildren and touting girls and women as engines of change. It's an uphill battle. As this South African series shows, transactional sex is the norm for young women, not the exception. That nation's president describes gender-based violence as a second pandemic. And girls are often excluded from education, as this Namibian girl was when pregnancy forced her out of the 11th grade. And Kenya's first lady says many women in her country lack access to conventional finance. So they use informal lending networks like these, which don't have the protections or guarantees of banks and often traffic in smaller sums. President Joe Biden, who often calls himself Jill Biden's husband, said her visit shows his administration's strong commitment. She met with the presidents and first ladies of both countries. She spoke to more than a thousand young people, the first generation born out of apartheid in Namibia, and empowered them to as keepers of democracy. In Kenya, she met families affected by devastating drought and food insecurity and made worse by Putin's brutal assault on Ukraine. And it made it clear that America's commitment to Africa is real. And by choosing to hold all of her high-profile events with female leaders, Biden conveyed a message of her own, with this possible nod to Namibia's first lady, whose husband's second and final term ends next year. The future is female. It's always time to have a female president, no matter what country you're in. So I'm very supportive of women running for office. It's unclear whether the trip will result in new Africa initiatives or policy changes, but it could have other impact, analysts say. Dr. Biden has been a role model, not only in the education field, but with everything that she's done in her capacity as um, first lady. That gives hope to girls who uh, can grow up knowing that uh, there's many roles that they can take on uh, as adults and they can uh, move into fields that might have been denied to them. They might be able to get education. If nothing else, Biden's visit challenges a belief that still pervades, and not just on the mother continent. That being born a girl means you lose in life. Maybe it means you'll win. Anita Powell, VOA News, Nairobi, Kenya.